So taxation of what? Over time. Taxation. Let's follow carefully, okay, closely. Now, for overtime, the first thing we need to define is who a QJE is. Who is a QJE? You may wonder who QJE is. QJE is a qualifying junior employee. So the first thing you need to learn under overtime taxation is, okay, there is somebody called a QJE, and a QJE has a special treatment. So we need to know who a QJE is, right? Qualifying junior employee. Now, to be a qualifying junior employee, you must meet some conditions. First condition is that you should be a junior staff member. You should be a junior staff member. This is basically what dependent on your title, on your title. So if your title or your role is senior manager for procurement, then nobody cares what your salary is. You've called yourself senior manager. You're not junior. Does it make sense? Right? This first condition is what basically titular. It's based on your title. What is your job role? Are you a junior staff or a senior staff? If your title is finance officer, or junior finance associate. Yes, junior is in your title. You are what? A junior staff member. But once you are director of finance, you know some people give themselves very fancy titles at work, right? Yes, the fancy title will disqualify you from being a QJE, right? Fancy titles, you are not junior. So this one, you must be junior, right? In, in fact and in appearance, okay? So junior staff member and the person's Qualifying employment income. So second condition, your qualifying employment income. Your qualifying employment income for the year does not exceed 18,000. This is annual, okay? This is the annual qualifying employment income should not exceed 18,000. So it should be less than or equal to 18,000 Ghana CD. When you do the math, it translates to 1,500 Ghana CD per month. Please take note, this is not your basic salary. Qualifying employment income in the law is your income, total income from employment. Everything you are getting from work, right? So, for somebody to be a qualifying junior employee or a QJE, I'm sure as you can see, right, the person should be super junior. Like your monthly salary should not be more than 1,005 because 18,000 divided by 12 should give you 1,005, right? Your monthly total earnings, that's the definition, monthly total earnings, right, should not be more than 1,500. And you should have a junior staff member title. It is not this or this. It is this and this. You have to meet the two. This and then this one. Are we good? So the first thing we need to learn is, are you a QJE? Because a lot of the rule, in fact, the whole rule here is dependent on your being a QJE. So we know who a QJE is, right? So now let's say, if you are a QJE, how are you taxed? Okay, now that we know who a QJE is, if you are a QJE, then your overtime is taxed as follows. Okay. Now, we have to determine, there are some steps I'm going to walk us through, right? We need to first and foremost, step one, determine 50% of the person's MBS. MBS. MBS basically means monthly basic salary. These acronyms will make it easy for you to remember. So you know that, oh, over time, I need to know, is it a QJE? Then step one is to find 50% of MBS, right? Easier to remember tax laws like this. So step one, I'll determine 50% of the person's MBS, monthly basic salary. That's step one. Step two, right? If the overtime is less than 
or equal to 50% of the MBS you determine in step one, then the whole over time is taxed at 5%. Then over time is taxed at 5%. Are we good? Basically, right? Determine 50% of the MBS. Now, I'm using MBS because when we get to the bonus side of things, bonus payments, we are going to use ABS, annual basic. And that is 15%, right? But for now, let's stick to this. We need MBS. We found 50% of your MBS. If your overtime is less than or equal to 50%, it doesn't exceed 50% of your MBS. We tax the whole overtime amount at what? 5%. Next possibility. If the overtime exceeds 50% of your monthly basic salary, then something will happen, right? 50% of MBS portion is taxed at 5%. Then the excess overtime above the 50% MBS threshold will be taxed at 10%. Tax at 10. I'll go over it again, right? Let's use numbers. Let's assume, let's random example, okay? Let's say 50% of your MBS uh, comes to 500 cities. Rough example, 50% MBS is 500. Right, let me just lay this out well. 50% MBS comes to, let's say, 500 CDs. Scenario one, you are paid over time of uh, 400 CDs. Do you agree 400 CDs is less than 500 CDs? So it falls under this first one, right? Tax at what? 5%. So the whole 400 Ghana CDs, your tax rate will be 400 CDs at 5%. That is the overtime tax. Scenario two. This time you are paid overtime of let's say 700 CDs, right? Do we agree 700 CDs is bigger than 500 CDs? So we come under this one, greater than 50% of MBS. Are we clear? So... 50% of MBS portion will be taxed at 5%. So you tax 500 CDs at 5%. The excess over time over this is 500, 700 is what? 200, agreed? The 200 will be taxed at 10%. We have a detailed example we'll do in class. This is just like for you to have an idea. We have a full question we'll solve, okay? But I hope this gives us an idea. It does, right? We good? So this is how you tax over time if QJE, but you see, because we said there is somebody called QJE, what if the person is not a QJE? So let's do the next one. If the person is a non-qualifying junior employee, how do you tax their overtime? Simple treatment. Their total overtime is added to their employment income and taxed normally, right? If non-QJE, Add overtime to employment income. And tax using what? The personal income tax rate. Using the personal income tax rate. What people call the graduated rate, the banded rate, right? So that is it. This is the rule for overtime taxation. Very simple, very easy. I'll go over one last time, right? If someone receives overtime, the first thing you need to do is to determine, are they a QJE? We good? Who is a QJE? Junior staff member or not even or and junior staff member plus your qualifying annual employment income does not exceed 18,000. Monthly equivalent of 1,005. If you meet the QJE, then this is how we tax you. We first determine 50% of your monthly basic, not annual. And here it is your basic salary, not your total compensation. The components, that is your base salary, right? We find 50% of that. 
if the overtime you are paid is less or equal to that 50% MBS, we tax the full overtime at 5%. If the overtime is more than 50% of what the MBS, then the 50% of MBS portion, as I illustrated here, is taxed at 5%. Any excess above the 50% MBS threshold will be taxed at 10%. Overtime tax is a final tax. Final thing I'll add is that overtime tax is a final tax. So if you have the QJE1, what it basically means is that whatever is withheld, this 5%, 10%, whichever, is a final tax, meaning we will not add the overtime income to the person's income for tax to be computed again. Remember, we've defined a final withholding payment in our previous session as what? A payment or a tax which fully satisfies the tax liability of the withholdee with respect to that amount. This is how overtime is taxed. Let's now move to bonus quickly, then I'll take your questions, right? Let's look at bonus taxation. Right, taxation of bonus. Taxation of bonus payment. Now, this time, maybe your company has an incentive scheme in place. They're like, oh, if you're able to sell a certain number of products or whatever, we are going to what, reward you with an annual bonus or a sales bonus, right? For a bonus payment, we have nothing like a QJE. The bonus taxation rule doesn't have anything regarding what QJ is. Nothing of that matter. So there is one rule for everybody. One rule for everyone. So we can just make a note here. Unlike overtime, that is what a segregated treatment. Bonus payments, we are saying that what? A single rule. A single rule for everyone. Okay. All right. So. What is the rule for taxing bonus? Again, like we did step by step for overtime, for bonus, your first step is to determine not 50%, but this time 15, 1.5% of ABS, annual basic, annual, which is your full year basic or your monthly basic times 12. Okay. Once you determine 15% of what your ABS, the next thing you're supposed to ask yourself is this, step two. In doing your taxation, if the bonus payment is less than or equal to 15% of the ABS, we tax the whole bonus at 5%. Withholding tax. So bonus is taxed at 5%. So you are paid a bonus. The first thing you should do is compute 15% of your ABS, your annual basic salary. Then compare your bonus. If the bonus paid to you is less than the 15% of ABS, then the whole bonus is taxed at 5%. Next possible scenario. If your bonus is more than what? 15% of your annual basic salary then there will be a segregated treatment, right? So we say that similar to the way we did for the overtime, the 15% ABS component, okay, will be taxed at 5%. The 15% ABS component, that first part, will be taxed at what? 5%, okay? Then any excess bonus, any excess bonus above the 15% ABS, this does not go for 10% like we had for overtime here, right? This one, what happens to it is that it is added to your employment income. This will be added to employment income.
and then it is taxed as part of your employment income at what the personal income tax rate at the personal income tax rates, right? So this is a very special treatment. Again, just like we did for um, overtime, we said overtime tax, the withholding is a final tax. Mind you, is the QJE1. The non-QJE1, we are even adding the income to your income already. Okay, so that's different. But the QJE withholding of five and 10, this is a final withholding. Once it is withheld, it doesn't show up again in your computation. Bonus payments to for bonus, we are saying that the final tax is for the 15% of ABS components, right? So the, this is a final tax. Final tax. This 15% of ABS, this guy, whatever is withheld here, is a final tax. And then the equivalent over here as well. Let me just do it this way. This guy is also a final tax. The excess added will go at the personal or graduated rate, and that cannot be a final tax, right? So please take note, bonus and overtime payments, final withholding payment for the relevant portions, as we have said here. Any question? Any question? 